Zeit. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, a, it's wonderful that we have such a capacity crowd this evening. Thank you for coming and supporting uh, our opera program, Delusions of Love. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this evening. Uh, this evening marks a couple of firsts. Uh, this is the first time we've had a set for opera <laughs> workshop. And it's the first time I believe that we've had an orchestra. And, uh, for me. I was here uh, a few years ago, and uh, then uh, when this position opened up, uh, I took it on, and I'm very pleased to be here. I think, uh, in speaking with Dr. Marquardt, after he retired, I said, you know, what do you miss about uh, Rhode Island College? And he said, well, I miss the students. So that says a lot about uh, this institution and its students. Uh, we have great students here, and it's wonderful to be a part of this uh, program. Uh, a couple of words about Thomas Pazakini. Uh He was born in 1945 and grew up in New York and uh, was one of the youngest uh, composers to graduate from, uh, from Juilliard, the Juilliard School of Music. And uh, he compo he's composed over 30 operas, quite prolific. Uh, many of them are, are, I think Deluso is one of the operas that's currently uh, one of the top five operas that's performed at the university level. So it's a very popular piece, uh, and uh, we're happy to be able to present it for you this evening. Uh, Thomas Pazateri also was in the uh, film industry for about 17 years. He was an orchestrator. He orchestrated uh, the score for The Shawshank Redemption and several other uh, movies. And then in 2003, he left that business and he started Posing again, so let's hope that he uh, brings some new works to the stage. I would like to thank a, a couple of people, uh, well, actually three this evening. Uh, my co-director, uh, Susan Rogers. Who is <laughs>
Shut 
I've got it back. Now let me look at the face of my rival. Oh no, the locket I give to a silly. I don't recognize him. What am I to think? Sir, excuse me. Isn't that my portrait? This is my man. Or rather, my wife's man. Where, where, where did you get it? From my wife's wife, yes. And I know all about your amorous intrigues. She is your wife, yes. You scoundrel. Now the magistrate will throw you both into jail.
ever seen such confusion. It seems that conclusive evidence can lead to very wrong conclusions. So go home now and remember, don't believe everything you see.